admin lt integration with uh, angular application hello friends uh, so in today's tutorial we uh, we will see how uh, we can integrate uh, this beautiful design of admin lt with our angular application so let me uh, first of all click on this uh, live preview and you can see it has almost all sort of controls which you can uh, think of using in your application the charts the ui elements the forms the buttons the toaster the icons everything it it, it has and yeah this is the profile icon anything so if you are looking for any sort of template which you can uh, which you won't integrate in your application then admin lt is the uh, very good solution for you and the second second uh, best part about this admin lt is yeah let me click on this button here you can see this is all responsive which is which is a very good best point for this so in short if you want to use uh, any ready uh, temp if you are looking for any ready template which you can uh, use in an application then admin lt is for you and the third thing is which is again a very important it is open source and when i say open source that there is pretty much clear that it is free available and you can uh, easily use in your application right so this is all about the admin lt now we'll see uh, you can go to this website and if you uh, want to look on the components you can have a look at it before integrating this and once you are uh, satisfied then you can uh, go and uh, integrate the in, with your application so before i proceed this is my angular 6 application and what i have already integrated this uh, uh, components and you can see the oh, all the uh, admin lt components in my in my website now also uh, the second point uh, what i have already done is that integrate integration of the routing that means if i click on the about page uh, if I click on the home page, you can see that this is the uh, this is something which is uh, which is acting as a master page, and it it gonna come on every page. If I click on this logout button, I'll be redirected to login. Don't go uh, to this design that's not that pretty, but of course you can use it uh, from the admin LT or from any other stuff. So this is how uh, that 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 has been done. So now the first thing, if you want to use it. Uh, uh, as it is, then it is readily available uh, to my GitHub, uh, this URL, and this is URL is mentioned in YouTube uh, description. So it contains all the possible source code, just that you have to run one command, which is the npm install. And of course, I cannot actually commit all the node modules that will install all the modules which are present in the package.json file. And after that, you would be able to serve the application in the same manner, the way I am doing. So now let's uh, start with the scratch, how we can do this. Okay, so the thing is that uh, admin LT example there, yeah, that's fine. The thing is that I'll be using the uh, Angular CLI commands uh, to create the template. So let me create an LG uh, ng new admin with uh, admin LT with Angular 6. You can name it anything. Okay, so the moment I uh, run this command, it will uh, create some sort of uh, uh, dummy application for us in what we'll integrate our admin LT. Now, this will actually take a couple of minutes. Uh, generally, it takes three to five minutes and actually it loads all sort of modules and all those stuff. So after that, we'll have the uh, ready to use that application. So I'm going to pause this video for a minute. And once it installs all those stuff, uh, we'll, we'll continue. Okay, so uh, it has uh, downloaded all those stuff and it is now ready to use the application. So let me open this application in uh, Visual Studio uh, Visual Code. So code dot dot I just uh, run the command and it should open. Yeah, it has. So you can see we have our template ready to use. Now just go to this new terminal and run the command. First of all, we'll uh, just build our application and then uh, we'll uh, serve our application to see uh, if it is all working fine. Although it is a new application created by Angular, still a command, so it should work. And it is taking a time. Maybe we can do this in command. No props. But the directory should be this. Yeah, this one. Go to CMP. And the first command is ng build. Just bear with me, uh, these uh, commands actually takes some time. Yeah, it started building. But we have some sort of weird error. Yeah, uh, that is one of the common error which I which I don't know why uh, comes in this Angular, newly created Angular C, uh, Angular 6 application. So to fix this, you have to open the package.json file. And in the package.json file, you have to remove this one. And 
again you have to run this npm install mm -hmm. again it will sorry take some of uh, some time and yeah that was too quickly now let's click on this ng build meanwhile now our terminal is also working new ports is let's uh, do this from here actually yeah so let me just uh, first of all just save this file and i have remove the symbol and npm install it should install first of all uh, it, it takes time let me pause the video meanwhile okay so uh, instead of npm install i just use npm update because npm install again it was taking a lot of time so and and we just wanted to update the one package that was our rsjs so now let's try with this ng build hope it should build now started very nice so it has uh now built uh, successful now the thing is you guys don't uh, need to worry about this what i just did just uh remove that symbol and uh create or uh, run a command of npm update and then uh, we have this uh build us now let me just open this application ng sir hyphen hyphen open and uh now it will uh, open our application in Chrome and see how uh, the template it, it is. It is again building. Okay, so meanwhile, actually, it uh, opens in the Chrome. I think it has already. Yeah. So this is the empty uh, website created by Angular 6 Angular CLI application. Now we'll uh, make, try to make this the same way it has. Okay. So the thing is, uh, to start with, first of all, let me go to this view page source. You uh, need to download the, uh, what we say, a CSS and the JS file and uh, all those stuff. Uh, this, the thing is that you should have the bootstrap CSS, then the font or some, then I. Uh, iconic cons, admin LT, and all skins. And if I go to the bottom of this page, you need uh, some sort of uh, libraries which you which you should have in your in your application. So the thing is that now you have to install the uh, admin LT in in your module. So we'll we'll do in a sec. Okay. So uh, I was just looking for the commands. Now we have. Let me just uh, press Control C. it's not working click on cmd and the command is when it is taking time so I'm going back. yeah the command is here we have the copy why it is not working the command is npm install admin lt npm install admin lte and admin save i are gonna install the admin LT in our application. Even though it installed the npm uh, LT, we still uh, need to have this bootstrap file, font, song, font, custom, and all those stuff. And the few of the things which we have seen here: the fast clicks, bootstrap, JS file, and the jQuery, and then admin LT across the JS file to make those functionality. So I have uh, executed the command for the admin LT. Now it will install the module of admin LT, and uh, we'll, we'll resume just after this. Okay. Uh, so again, it took uh, five to six minutes actually. Now we have uh, admin LT installed in our application. Let's check with this uh, admin LT. Here we are. This was our admin LT. Yeah. In the node modules, we should have now admin LT. Here we are. So we are done with this. Uh, we have installed the uh, admin LT. Now just go to the uh, our application. So this is a JSON file. That's all okay. The second thing is uh, go to your Angular.json file. And this is very important thing. Where it is? I was just looking for style section. Here we are. Okay. So this is the page page where uh, you integrate your all uh, CSS, all JavaScript in the style section. You will put your CSS in the uh, script section. You put your uh, JS uh, files. So as I as we have seen here, we need to import all those stuff. So we'll do one by one. So what we have to do 
we have to provide the path so let's say our path is admin lt admin lt node modules and then admin lt and then maybe test and then the css and here we are the admin lt similarly we have we have to provide the path of skins so this is uh this is the path we have to provide and so i already uh, provided in my application so i'll just copy from here so this is same as that say we we first have to import the bootstrap then font or some and the sequence should be that is very important the sequence should be same like bootstrap then font or some then acne then admin lt so just go to this application we have bootstrap on some icon and all the stuff at the end we have this module so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this styles maybe you can provide the path the way you want to or you can copy from that uh, get url I, I mentioned in the studio so now you have uh, imported all those stuff the second part is second step is basically you can see very important classes which is uh skin blue blue so everything works as a as a wrappers like uh in a in a sequence so you should have the class of skin blue and then wrapper and this is this should be the same sequence the main header at least of the parent component so just go to your code go to the index.html here we are and in the body tag just as this class now this class is a skin blue class which should be presented which is presented in this all skin format so i'm going to use skin blue class you can use any class a uh, green red and they they have also combinations which can look to this uh, uh this terminality site from here in the settings you will find everything to be you can configure according to your need so i have uh, uh added the wrapper here i have uh, added the uh, all the CSS JS here now just go to the dub terminal once again and now we'll serve our application once again so let me press ng serve uh, let me change the port because 4400 is already occupied and again I don't know but this terminal is not seems to be working here no issues I'll use the commands uh, here we are cmd ng serve hyphen hyphen open hyphen hyphen o o five four zero it should open the application in chrome in a bit let me close this one meanwhile and just close this one as well keep this as it is and see what's the progress 10% building module 6 out of 6 modules yeah successfully built that means the things which we integrated all imported now just uh, let's say if you want to use anything any sort of uh, components uh, let's say this header let me copy this uh, header and go to here and paste just uh, in the app component this my this app component just get rid of this thing and click on this app now we have imported some sort some part of the admin lt just to see that our uh, css and the js of admin lt what we just imported are working or not so click on this uh, admin lt site and it says uh, it's still we don't have the exact syntax so let's check what is left let me press, press yeah i think we have not imported the admin module we'll we'll do in a bit okay uh, so i have uh, actually debugged a little bit and found there was a weird error or mistake which i which i made here you can see i just uh, copied uh, styles in script uh, just a sec ago and there was a wrong thing a wrong path actually we were in the test folder so the actual things uh, needed to be copied here in the style and the script folder so which is which is basically for your application and i accidentally actually copied all those stuff uh, here and that is why uh, we were missing those css and uh, we were not able to see the output so the moment actually now i have uh, corrected my mistake and added the css here so i have uh, re uh, built the application and after that i have uh, the result with me with this uh, on the local host 4200 this time and we have the working uh, some sort of working admin cli with this now let's say 
uh, you want the entire design now you just have to go to the admin LT page let me just zoom this and maybe click on this body we already have so click on this edit wrapper edit html control a control c and then uh, go to your application go to app.component page and paste it here now after that you should have some more design available with you or do i need to rebuild the application but okay, it's not yet copied uh, let me do this once again control a copy paste it delete control b okay now press control s and we should have the little sign with us Okay, we have to build once again. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see now we have the design with us. Although you can see the some cracked icon, which is uh, the image missing and all those stuff. But uh, hopefully, uh, once you have the uh, corrected image, you would be able to see uh, the things. And you don't actually need to copy uh, the entire entire thing. You can understand the required thing, whichever you want to use for your application. You just let's say you want this unique visit visitors just go to this unique visitors and yeah here's a section from here you just copy this uh this stuff added a stimulus in yeah, this one and you just copy this and paste it in your application and <clears throat> it should be working now as you have the admin LT integration <clears throat> excuse me with your application so this is all about uh, uh integration of of this and you have any query and if you face any uh any issue uh, in in, in uh, integration then let me know i'll i'll have to solve those because even in the in uh, demo i found something although there was due to some uh, weird mistake i made it but yeah in case if you find i'll let me know and even uh, if you need help in before the integration of in the integration of angular application uh installing the kit uh, sorry the angular cli component the node mod modules uh node stuff npm and all the stuff so you if you encounter any error then uh, you can let me know and, and uh, I'll, I'll be available and i'll have to help you guys thanks for uh viewing this video and yeah see you again